So today I, I posted out on my Facebook, you know, um, how would you feel if someone called you a progressive youth minister, if you're a youth minister, and I let anyone respond, whether they were a youth minister or not, all of my friends on Facebook, uh, and I posted out on our pages also, um, and the initial response is what is progressive mean? So um, the person definitely meant it as a compliment. Um, they definitely uh, were, being, were being positive, um, and one of my friends kind of posted out uh, some of the uh, some of the dictionary definitions of uh, of progressive, which we'll we'll hit up in a second. Um, but I uh, I, don't know, I went out and talked to uh, uh, a fellow minister here in my parish about it, who's who's not a youth minister, but just kind of to, to get their perspective and uh, to give you guys a little bit of an insight. I moved from Texas up to Seattle um, about a year ago, and so I. Um, uh, I think that plays a lot into some of my, my comments and thoughts about this, but um, I think across the board in youth ministry right now, a lot of us think that um, there needs to be a change, there needs to be a shift, and and uh, frankly, that, that the retention rate that we have, that the engagement rate that we have, the, the, the job that we're doing, evangelizing and catechizing, um, needs to be pushed further. We need to do better. Um, and I think that, frankly, no matter how good we were doing, even if we had 98% retention, um, we would want to try and push ourselves to do better. Um, part of belief that's inherent in my ministry um, and in the, the ministry work that we do through Perpetual Motion Ministry is that great things are happening out there. And I, I do believe that. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the progressive work that we do is focused on what are some of the best things that we've seen out there? What are some of the concepts from different fields that we can bring in? Um, so I'm feeling better today um, about being a progressive, um, and, a, and a lot of that, um, a lot of that stems from just really the concept of of what what it means to be progressive. And, and my friend Katie Spicer posted out um, favoring pro favoring or promoting progress, right? Uh, gradually advancing and in extent or increasing, promoting or favoring progress towards improved conditions, new policies, ideas, and methods. Um, so um, when I hear somebody say that I'm a progressive youth minister, I like that last definition, that we're, that we're continually moving towards an improved condition, um, that we are, we are looking at ways that we can uh, progress. And that doesn't mean that we're not orthodox. Um, uh, it means that we're, we're not 100% with, content with things the way that they are. And so, um, as I'm continuing to process this, I'm becoming a little bit more comfortable with with the idea of being a progressive youth minister. Um, but I just want to kick it out to you guys. You know, if you have thoughts, um, if you have ideas about what this could mean or what this what this should mean to be a progressive youth minister, um, hit me up with them. Because tomorrow uh, we're going to talk <coughs> specifically about the concept of of uh, progressive, orthodox, conservative, liberal. What those how those four terms relate to each other. That may spill over into two days, but that's what we're going to do. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you, uh, I hope you join me back here for that. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.